Welcome to the Transparent FX Academy. I'm Nick, and I'm a top author on trading you with over 190k reputation points. In this video, I will be taking a pair, breaking it down from a technical and order flow perspective. And in doing so, I will provide as much free education as possible. So I really suggest that you stick to the video till the end, and I will see you on the charts. In today's video, I want to speak about AUD JPY because we do have quite interesting price action and structure. Starting here on the monthly, in fact, what we can see is that the market has just created a, a double top at this area. In fact, we had a very strong impulse to the upside approaching this zone. The market then rejected it to the downside. We then had once again a retest of this area. The market created this wick to the upside that exceeded the previous high. However, sellers came back into the market pushing the price lower. So in a situation like this, what you could expect is for this double top to actually be completed and for the market to create more bearish continuation from a monthly perspective. So here in the monthly, everything seems pretty bearish. Dropping down on the weekly, what do we notice? Now, from a weekly perspective, we must first identify a thing. That the market, even though it is currently pushing to the downside quite aggressively, does have support and demand at this area. From here, this rejection to the upside was created again here, tested and rejected. At the moment, we are at the same area. So even though in the long term, we would like to see more bearish continuation, we have to keep in mind that if we're looking from here immediately for more bearish continuation, this is a higher risk situation because we're basically looking for a move to the downside at a weekly support area. So even though the monthly is bearish, the weekly does, has, it does have support around this zone. Dropping down the daily time frame, what can we notice? now? From a daily perspective, we did have the creation of this overextended M pattern. In fact, from here, I did make a full breakdown of IUD JPY, explaining all the reasons for which we could expect this rejection to the upside and completion of the pattern at the neckline, which is this previous support or resistance, which is in fact exactly what the market just did. And by the way, I will link in description this previous analysis so you can go and check it out for more free education. However, now that the market has completed this M pattern at the previous support term resistance, what we could expect next. Now, usually from a pattern standpoint, after the creation of an M pattern, you expect the completion at the neckline and then the continuation lower, rejecting the neckline, which is by definition an area of previous support term resistance. So at this point, you expect the completion of this impulse correction and impulse pattern to the downside. However, since we have to keep in mind that from a weekly perspective, all this area is support, this would be a higher risk situation to be looking for a potential short at a weekly support area. It doesn't mean that the market cannot break the weekly support. It just means that we could have some manipulations going around this area, potentially some stop hunting before the market then successfully manages to break below the support. Now, if we go and see what we have when it comes to the commitment of traders, so the COT data, which is what the non-commercials, so the biggest speculators in the market are doing, and we check the data for the AUD, what we can see is that with the last reports, net positions have been once again decreased. We went from minus 27K to minus 31K net positions. So once again, we're starting to see longs getting closed. However, we don't see shorts added yet, which is definitely a problem because we would like to see shorts added and longs closed in order for the AUD to get weak enough to manage to break below the weekly support. Now, if we go and see what we have on the JPY, we can see how the JPY is lately it is, has slightly gotten increased in net positions with the last report going from minus 81K to minus 77K. And we did in fact see 3.1K longs added with the last report and 1K shorts getting closed. So on the JPY, we're seeing exactly what we like to see. Longs added and shorts closed, which make the JPY stronger, giving the possibility for the market to potentially actually create this move. So how we could be approaching this potential it move to the downside and break below the weekly support. Now, as usual, trading is reactive and not predictive. The monthly, weekly, and daily, 
combined with the CO2 data, those are the best time frames from a directional perspective. However, when it comes to confirmations and entries, the best time frames are the intraday time frames, so for our and lower. Therefore, what we could be doing is monitoring price action from an intraday perspective during this move to the upside, waiting for the market to shift from an intraday bullish market as we would have to an intraday bearish market. And if the market would shift from an intraday bullish to bearish market and provide to us one of our valid entries, at that point, we could be looking for a potential move to the downside and for the market to complete this impulse correction and impulse pattern to the downside. Now, if you don't know what I'm speaking about when I say valid entries and this kind of things, that is all part of the mentorship program, which you can find at transparentfxtrading.com. Here you have the possibility to gain access to my entire course with all the rules of the strategies. You also have the possibility to gain access to one-on-one -on -one private mentoring, the VIP market breakdowns with the telegram signals, the CO2 data software, which is the one that we used in this analysis, the trading station software, which puts together everything that you need as a trader all in one interface. And if you scroll lower past the testimonials, you will see that at the moment I'm running a special promotion in which you have both an upfront discount, big discount on the original price of the mentorship program. And since I have partnered with the Forex broker Blueberry Markets, if you open an account with them from the student dashboard, you can get a full refund credited back into your trading account. So if you scroll lower, you will see that at the moment there is still time to join before the offer expires when the timer goes to zero. However, spots are limited. So if this spots will be filled out before the timer goes to zero, the offer will end anyway. So I really suggest that you take advantage and join directly from here and gain automatically access with the email and password that you will create during the checkout. So definitely looking forward to have you on board. If you enjoyed the video, make sure that you smash that like button and comment below. It really does support the creation of more free education analysis for all of you. And I'll see you in my next video.